The board member, Peter Alexis Addis, says he was confused as to why a retreat was called this past Saturday. As we reported, DOE Superintendent John Fernandez told KUAM last week the board was going to discuss his appointment of Sophia Duenas as the principal of the new Tizen High School. The purpose of Saturday's meeting was to discuss the issue. Problem number one, why close door? Problem number two, we all knew we have no business in operation. Then what am I there for? I have no business. I excuse my. I was very polite enough to say, please excuse me, but I have no business to be here. Evidently, at issue is a policy adopted by then members of the Board of Education in 1973, which mandates the administrative appointments by the superintendent shall be approved by the board. Addis says he does not know which board member is questioning the Duenas appointment, but stands by Fernandez's authority to appoint. Reference to this particular topic, I don't care whether the policy says that the superintendent must report to the board. There is a law that supersedes that. And the law says you have no business in operation. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. No ifs or buts. The law he refers to is Public Law 2626, which states that the superintendent serves as the appointing authority for all personnel employed by the department, while the board is responsible for establishing curriculum goals and policy, and periodically reviewing established policies. Although Saturday's meeting was initially closed to the public, a motion was made to open it to the public, which was granted. However, the Duane's appointment was not discussed. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tony.